Good morning, guys, and welcome back to my channel. I wanted to come at you today because I kind of want to do a little bit of a get ready with me, kind of something a little bit different. I mean, it's kind of the same, or could it be? I'm not even sure, but I will tell you that with this get ready with me today, you guys will be seeing... um the type of style that I have to wear at work because mind you I no longer work at Taco Bell okay let's just put that out there because oh, that was a stressful job so with that being said I um I'm also going to show you a light coverage look maybe a full coverage I'm not sure exactly how it is and if you could see my hair I will totally explain to you what is going on with this right here on my head. I know it's definitely something different that you guys have not seen before, but I promise you, I will explain. So let me get this whole entire hot mess taken care of, and then I will jump back on here and explain everything. All right, let's get started. Okay, guys, I am back right now, um, right before I actually um, have to get ready for work, but um, I kind of wanted to just disclose just a little bit like what I do for work. Um, I basically help out people. Um, I don't really want to disclose a whole lot because I'm not even sure if I'm allowed to, but I basically help people. And the kind of setting it is, is business casual setting. So with that, um, my outfit for today is going to be like this blue spaghetti strap shirt right here. And I have some dark blue jeans to go with it. I'm so sorry about the lighting, you guys. It is horrible right now. Let's go right here. There we go. All right, so it's like this dark blue spaghetti strap shirt. And then I have this dark blue blazer. And it's a funny story because this dark blue blazer, I got it from Goodwill for a dollar. Now, for those of you that have been on my channel for a while, like you know, I like bargains. And when I can get a good deal, I'm going to get a good deal no matter where it's at. Especially if you can get a nice article of clothing like that for just a dollar. I mean, come on. You know what I mean? So, with that, I also have these blue jeans that I'm going to wear with it. I know the lighting is horrible. I'm so sorry, you guys. I was not anticipating it looking like this in any way. And I also wanted to show you the shoes that I'm going to wear, which are these really cute denim flats that I got at Walmart for three bucks. So, you know, like this entire outfit, no joke, is like $5 altogether because when you can save money, why not save money? And 99% of the time when I go to these sales at Goodwill, their clothing is brand new with the tags still on them usually from like the original um, MSRP price. So if I'm going to have the opportunity to buy a $45 pair of jeans for a dollar, why not? Why not? You know, every, um, the Goodwill over here by my house, every Saturday, they have a color tag sale. And that color tag sale is a dollar. And so I try to go every Saturday when I have the money. But usually, I'm not able to. Um, just for the purpose of it's the holidays right now, you guys. I am so swamped. Not just with work, but I am swamped with having to wrap presents, find presents, and I was on a mission for the longest time trying to find a Christmas ornament for my mother-in-law. Crazy, I know. And so now, this whole menage that is me, I will be getting ready. Unfortunately, I'm not showing that part of me changing into my clothes because I just don't roll like that. So I will change and then I will get started with the makeup. All right. Okay. So first, let me explain like 
everything that is going on. So I did this a little hair treatment called it's not called color oops it's called something else it's to actually get all of the dyes out of my hair um since I have recently like been dyeing my hair so so much so what I basically did was I got rid of 90% of the color as you can see there's still like a little bit of black here and there but that will wash out over time. Now these orange parts that you see, that and this right here is all my natural hair color. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I am a ginger at heart. I'm sorry, I can't help it, but yes. So um, <clears throat> the look that I'm gonna go for today is something soft and subtle, obviously. Um, and I will be showing you exactly that look, all right? Okay, so from what you guys know, usually when I do like full coverage makeup, I do like primer, I do um, foundation, bronzer, everything like that. But today, because I'm really crunched for time, I have so much to do. Um, I'm going to kind of cut half of that out and I'm just basically going to be doing my eyes today. Yes, I got blemishes, obviously. That's normal, natural, whatever. Who cares? So, um, I use this Wet n Wild Mega Volume um, Mascara. I always put that on first before I put on my eyeliner and my false lashes. Reason is because I want to make sure that my lashes are okay for the falsy lashes to stick and then I also want to make sure that I have like plenty of time to um put on like eyeliner and stuff because it does take a lot for me to be able to um put on lashes like it is a lot of effort I not gonna lie like it's so so much effort so what I'm doing here is I'm just basically going on my lower waterline and I am using my um Rimmel London waterproof um eyeliner and the color the color is number 26 noir and it's Exaggerate Waterproof Eyeliner. And this is the one that I like the most because it has the little smudger at the other end. Which is like this part right here. It's a little smudger. So like if I wanted to do like a smoky eye look, I could just smudge it if I really, really wanted to. And then, since I have this part done, um, then I'm, uh-uh, no mister my cat sorry guys so now i'm going to go on to the top part of my eyelid with this elf intensely ink eyeliner and it has as you can see it has like a felt tip right here and i just go straight across the top of my eyelid if I want to do a wing I just go out just a little bit just like that like I'm not looking for anything too drastic because like I said I just want this to be a super simple look for today so I'm gonna bring this back just like that and then I'm gonna add this part right here there we go just like that like it's soft and subtle nothing too drastic nothing too major so I actually just got a very important phone call so I will be right back Okay, guys, so I kind of had to step off camera for a minute to put on my um, false lashes because, like I said, it is a lengthy process to put them on. And I'm not always, like, very perfect or accurate when 
I do put them on. So um, the process does take me a few minutes to do. And so usually like once I apply my lashes, I take my spoolie and I just go like underneath where my regular lashes are. And I kind of just like, like just twist it a little bit to have my lashes blend in with the false lashes just so you really like I'm trying to like make it look like they're hidden you know what I mean it's just a secret that you know us people do with makeup to kind of throw men off and make them think oh my god her eyelashes are so so long so yeah it's just a little trick that we do as women for makeup and for those of you who are new to my channel and um have subscribed i do tutorials i try to upload at least twice a week i do film videos um it's just with the holidays my schedule has been so crazy hectic um but i promise after the holidays are over i will be uploading a whole lot more i'm going to try to have as much different content as possible for my false lashes, I am using the Kiss Easy Lashes and the number 11. These are like soft and subtle little wispies. Like I've said before in my past videos, that Kiss is my favorite brand. I um even went as far as purchasing the Ardell Magnetic Lashes. I'm not going to lie. Like, they're okay. I mean, it's convenient for when you want to, like, apply your lashes quickly and go. Don't get me wrong. It, those are perfect. But when it comes to, like, wanting to do a full face look, it's just really hard. Like, they don't even really last all day. I had to actually take them off at, like, 8 o'clock last night. So, I'm kind of not too surprised considering me and Ardell lashes we just don't get along i've had strip lashes with them they kind of made my eye itch like mm -mm. these kiss ones they feel more natural i can barely even tell that they're on and i love them i think that they are very convenient and yeah so um i'm going to be using my sonia kashik brush large eyeshadow brush this is what it looks like and for those of you who like Sonia Kashuk, you can get her at Target. Her merch is amazing. I'm also using my Makeup Revolution palette in the two colors that I'm going to be using today. Um, I'm going to start off with this, with these two colors right here on the palette. Um, I'm going to lightly use this brown one because like I said, the look that I am going for is just soft subtle and super 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 easy to do you know like I've for anybody who is a mom and is super busy and just has a lot of things to do I'm sure you can relate to you know how um how being a working mom is when you're constantly like super busy and you try to like make sure you have to, like I said you know, I try to upload as much as I can but because I'm so busy with the holidays like it's crazy you know my husband's family they do a lot of holiday parties during the holidays so we're busy preparing for that we're busy preparing in general just trying to you know get everything together that we need as far as you know winter comes because it is gonna be that time for us to be winter cleaning and yeah so it's just a little bit of a process so when I say I'm gonna upload twice a week I'm really gonna try you guys I just ask that you bear with me because it's not easy and when you're a mom and you have a crazy schedule and stuff like that you would definitely understand exactly what I'm talking about because you know I know a lot of youtubers on here are like oh they like always always upload and I definitely want to do that if I had enough time to keep this as a full-time job I would most definitely do that but right now I don't have enough you know subscribers I don't have enough of anything like that so therefore I just try to do the best that I can 
with what I have. And I am super, super grateful for that. So as you guys can see, my soft and subtle I look for today. And I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in and viewing my video. Um, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that little notification bell down below. So that way you know every time I upload a video. And with that being said, I love you guys. I'll catch you in my next video. Bye-bye.